So we talked about with the checkerboard how we see the world. Melanie took you through an experience of people and how we make up stories using our PhD from MSU with people. We do this with our hearing too. So we want to um, share a little experiment with you called the McGurk effect. And in a minute, you're going to see a short, very short video. And it's going to have uh, a guy who looks like this um, pronouncing a syllable a few times. We're going to play it twice. And in between the two videos, you'll see an instruction, close your eyes and just listen. That is the instruction. That's what we're going to do. Watch this video one time. When you see the signal, close your eyes and listen. Close your eyes and listen, and then we'll talk about it when we come back together. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Well, I'm just going to hope that everyone in the audience heard it both times. I didn't, but that could just be something on my end. Um, this is definitely something we encourage you, if you're curious, to write it down, McGurk Effect. You can go to YouTube and type that into the search engine and actually watch the video again and try it out. But here's what happened in the video if you were able to see it two times. The first time when you were listening and watching his face, his lips didn't come together. So your brain probably, if you're like 100% of the people that take our workshops, your brain told you that he was saying either ba ba, I'm sorry, da da, ga ga, or la la. All of those sounds, lips don't come together. When you close your eyes, uh, you're only hearing the soundtrack, which is ba ba. His lip, your lips have to come together to say ba ba. So they recorded him not closing his lips, but they dubbed in a ba ba. So what this tells us, you can see it on the screen, is that vision is our predominant sensory perception and our seeing influences our listening. So we're going to check that out a little bit later um, with a, a, a little um, commercial about a staff meeting where you can see listening with our eyes. But a really good representation of this is to tell you the quick story about uh, symphony orchestras prior to the mid-80s didn't have women in them. Symphony orchestras were all male musicians. So to battle perceived sexism, they started doing blind auditions with a screen on stage, and still no women were being chosen to go into these orchestras until someone said, wait a minute, we can hear them walking from side stage to behind the curtain, and our brains are figuring out their gender because of the gait and the shoe on the stage. As soon as they started making the musicians come barefoot up to the audition, all of a sudden women start being chosen for symphony orchestras. And now there's almost parody across the seven big uh, symphony orchestras in the United States. 